Transformers reviews, tech and the news, whatever else I use as a muse. Hit subscribe, I appreciate the views, influences, interest on YouTube. Hey, thank you for joining me. This is Influence today. I got DX9's Carry, which is their take on Rodimus Prime. And it's their new version, which is the metallic version, metallic version and also i have the special edition footloose version now i know you've seen the title and what i mean by that is my robot ain't got no feet <laughs> it came like that it has no feet so we're gonna get through this review just keep that in mind now that's a qc issue that i have no idea how that happened however uh, i mean with dx9 not being really existent i don't know how much qc they have i don't know who's printing new versions or or painting them maybe there, it's in their spare time and, i don't know i don't know if there's a person who runs the company or somebody else bought them and they just start releasing their old figures because i did see another dx9 uh hot rod the the movie version i think i saw that recently so i don't know i don't know who who's releasing their their stuff but we'll get into this and we'll get through this video so just off the bat besides his feet i love this figure besides the feet not being existent but hopefully i can find a picture and i try to put them side by side hopefully i can find a picture and put it inserted in here of the original version now this i did notice from the picture this looks a little and in the beginning, I said metallic because it's not really what you think of as metallic. It almost looks the same, but it is painted a little better. Some of the yellows are painted better. It does have like a sheen to it. If you can see, there we go. I'm trying to get my lights. This part look like yellow plastic on the original version. It's definitely painted orange. It's like an orange. It's coming off pretty much as is in hand i try to adjust the camera best i could to make it look like it does in person um this red is a little lighter it's a little darker in person i should say it's a little lighter on camera you know when you're adjusting the camera the colors sometimes get distorted a little however you can see i'm trying to really show the sheen and that's that's all it is it's not um uh, metallic as i'm used to but like I said, it's it's painted better in spots. I know I think I saw where like some of this wasn't painted well and some of the robot will get into the robot once I transform him. You can see it there as well. Just sheen is really, really nicely painted. This is a, a super old figure. So for it to hold up and it's holding up, it, it holds up. There, there are some things it's not as hefty as I would like. But that's because I'm coming from these days where everybody's shoving die cast in. But by no means does die cast make your figure better or does not having die cast make it worse. So like I said, it's just a feel. The feel is a little lighter than I thought it would be. However, it doesn't make this a bad figure. And I've seen figures with mad die cast that aren't good. But just, just what it is. Let's go through accessories. There's not much. You get this guy though, this Target Master. He's pretty big. And this is accessory because it helps complete the gun mode, but I just, it can fit in his hand. It's not really great as far as uh, fitting straight on. So you would either have to turn the hand like this and have him hold it like this or hold it just how I had it. Aim in vehicle mode so i'm doing it from vehicle mode to robot mode but yeah this thing is pretty pretty nicely painted i'm not sure if the first one was i watched reviews a long time ago when this figure first came out so that's basically what i'm remembering some of what people said like the face or or what i remember i'm not, I'm not sure if i'm remembering right i don't know if this is better painted than before but it does look nice. The yellow is definitely painted well and yellow on black usually doesn't, I think that's black plastic with yellow paint, usually doesn't go that well. But 
he also has these fins that can move they come like this i like them tilted a little bit just to add a little extra to them but they do come off and we can go through articulation really quickly he got the, the elbow it's not double jointed it's on a ball joint this goes out on a ball joint his arm goes all the way around because it is on a ball joint head has nothing I already showed the fins uh legs he can do the hurdles he can kind of do the splits yeah he can do the splits mostly he has knee get you 90 degrees feet go down about that much they don't go up and they do have some tilt to them so there we go that's all there is for this guy here's a fans toys target master so you can see how big he is he's a lot bigger than the fans toys target master i mean it doesn't bother me but just is what it is other accessories got your card normal card with tech specs and you have your book which was fine this transformation is really not simple but it's easy and satisfying at the same time i really like it it's a really blast from the past dx9 was one of my favorite companies we'll see the box real quick like i said dx9 was one of my favorite companies i love this artwork i wish it came with a poster i think the original came with the poster but it this did not however their box art was top tier and dx9's box art always was nice it always had this type of g1 feel with their little pizzazz to it so i always always like their uh their artwork their box art he does have rubber tires which is nice they do feel light they felt like plastic at first but then i had to really you know you rub them back and forth if you can tell they're rubber uh this goes up it's really for transformation but you can put it up if you want to uh the only thing missing i think is the fins that doesn't bother me at all however it may bother you so if you're thinking about getting this reissue and let's show comparison with jazz i do think this is a little small here's jazz he's supposed to be a little sports car this should be like maybe twice as big as him I'm not sure this is make toys uh since i got him in car mode but i mean you can you can do it it works like if you if you have it over here or something and it's not like right next to each other it kind of works farther away the smaller things are you know perspective and all that since we i went over articulation this guy so i'm i'm gonna get in transformation in him so just take his fins off uh split his body goes up he has a peg right here that's like an over under peg so you push this kind of push this up like that put it together and then do it just like that and there you go now you can move these arms. You can move these arms before if you wanted to, but it just the hand pegs into that peg on the leg. So you do that and I always do it after because it's just easier. And this stuff will come out while you're messing with it, which I don't like. So then whichever side has the peg, you want to flip this around like this and then flip this foot under and this hole will peg in right here um, and you can put this on it has a little notch there because it goes in the notch goes in the bottom there you go put that on there and then you can turn this leg up if you can stop it from coming out and it kind of creates a stop bring this in and have the peg down and the uh, fins back. That's what I do. There's two holes on each side, one there, one here. And then you have this gun and you got this as a stock. But this is a giant, giant gun. So what I like to do, which is a different configuration, you can move this like this, move this this way. And you're supposed to take this off and then peg this on to here. But I don't like doing that because then there's nowhere for this to go. So I just leave this up here like this. It still looks fine. And I kind of like the way it looks. It kind of has like a side scope thing. And, and it's just easier. If 
for him to hold. It's not as big. Then you can stick it here. There's a hole at the top. So he can have a giant rifle on the top of his roof. Not too much. That's pretty much it for him. Now for this one. Like I said, this is very, it's intuitive and it's a simple transformation, but it's satisfying as I don't know what. So you lift this up, both sides, lift this up. Both sides. Then you can lift this back up. It's tabbed in on each side there. Lift that up. Then you can kind of tab these, untab these sides, tabbed onto the legs, which you'll see later on. And then over here is tabbed on to the leg as well. So you try to get both of those off. They can be tight the first time. And then you kind of get it out here. You get it up. You want to bend it on this joint right here. Kind of. There you go. You bend it up here, then you can bend it down and just bend that down. Then this over here is the same way. It's just easier to push it this way and then try to get it up down here as well. You got to get that over this, but it's not a hard, you know, it's not like bending stuff over stuff. It's more so I think there's a tab right here too. I'm not sure. Um, yeah, there is. It's tabbed in to the side right there. I thought I had it out, but I didn't. Make sure you have all that out and then you kind of bend it up on this joint and you can get it out. That's a little more forceful than I want it to, but move that up here. Then you want to move this all the way up then you can just move this down, flip that around, move this down, flip that around, flip this down and put that up. So you basically got it like this. Now this is starting to come up. You can just move this out here like that. Now, you can unpeg this is in like a top peg hole right there into a peg right there. So you just unpeg that. Move this out here and then move this up here like that. Do the same thing over here. Move that out. Move it down. Move this around. There you go. Now here's where the foots. <laughs> Usually there's a foot on the end of these sticking up into here. You want to move this out and around and down. And as you can see, I have no foot assembly at all, which is crazy how that happened but we're gonna get through it i can't really give you the foot articulation so uh that's the only thing and he's not really standing up that well either but anyway so you got the legs done you can move them like this turn them around because this is going to end up being the front now what you want to do is <laughs> separate this right here so I separate that and move this up here like that move that back and now you can get to these arms you want to move these arms out but they're going to be out on this joint right here don't move them on this one because this one then it has to fold up so you move these arms out like that you're good golden then Pull that up. See how far that goes. It's a slider joint. Then you can move this down here like this. And it fits into there. Now move this head around. Got the head up. Make sure this doesn't. This is a slide up and down. But it has to be all the way up. But you can get it together once you do this. And then with this part. Move this around. Now when I first did it. I pushed this down. Because it has to go down eventually. But. However, it doesn't move as smoothly if you push it down now. So just move it around like that. Push this up in here like that. Then you can just fold this up like that and then move this all the way. 
Now, there's a peg hole there and there, and it pegs into the chest piece. And that's how that stays where you want it to stay. Make sure you got it right. Make sure it's all the way up. There we go. This side isn't. Okay, they're both there. Now you wanna push the arms up on this joint right here and it clips in on this piece. So it all locks together, which I think is great. There you go. Then over here, you do the same thing. Lock together. And we're in the home stretch. It's a little harder for me because I can't uh, stand them up. However, pull these arms or these hands down all the way. This is usually, it started coming out. I think this side is loose. It's not really loose, but it's easy to come out. So you pull that out of there like that. You push this down here and then you move this in all the way. Then back here, you move this and there's a tab there that this is gonna uh, peg into. One of these sides I couldn't get, oh, that, that one went in, so that one's fine. And then you can move this fist around just like that. And over here is the same thing. Just move the fist down. You can move it around now if you want. And you pull this out of here. This is super tight. Here we go. Push that down, push that in, and then move this over. Oh, got that one too this time. And now you're done. And I think this is a great figure. It really shows, unfortunately, I don't have feet, but it, it is a wonderful figure. You see the giant backpack, but you gotta realize like this is the whole car. Like it's all in one and I love it. I love the big wings. I think he should have big wings. Um, I know some think it's too big and this design isn't G1. However, I don't care. Like I really like it. Got the face sculpt, see the face sculpt. Uh, so let's, minus his feet, let's compare him to Prime. So here's Prime and he's a little bit smaller. I'm not sure with feet, maybe he'll be up here. So he's a little, people do think he's kind of small. However, depending on what you feel or think he should be. Um, who knows? He's bulky though. He he's has a wide footprint and takes up space. So then you can bring this in. One of my gripes is he he doesn't have a proper weapon. He just has this, and it fits in his hand pretty well, especially in this mode. But the only thing holding it is his fist clenched, and it's it's all right. Like it's not terrible. You can get it there, you see. And I think it may be better than the first release. However, you see with a little bit of uh, action, it'll move. Again, this is a giant gun and more than likely he would need to uh, hold it like a rifle. So yeah, let's go through articulation and then I'm pretty much out You go down about that much up that much. But then you go on the hinge without breaking the neck. You can do it like this. It doesn't look terrible, but the neck is really supposed to be down there. So you get about this much. It's like normal and then down. You don't really get too much up unless you use that. You get all the way around. It must be on a ball joint. Cause you do get some side by side so that's cool you get the arm all the way well you can't get it all the way technically because of this but it would go all the way around if you could you can get this up about that much because his shoulder hits his face uh you got single elbow that's almost 90 degrees but the way this joint is and they even cut it to kind of give it a little bit more uh but it still doesn't get completely 90 degrees, a little less than 90. So that's not the greatest. You got a fixed thumb 
again this figure is old so a lot of the articulation points this articulation for back then was probably great you got a fixed thumb and you have the trigger finger with two knuckles and then the rest of the hand just has the one knuckle at the base you got a waist swivel you can get all the way around even with the backpack so that's great uh, i don't think you have no waist bend you can do he can do the front hurdles but he's gonna hit it with his back foot because of this right here and i don't know if you can't or maybe it's supposed to be up further i don't know yeah you can't really get it doesn't really adjust i wish you could adjust that i mean you can't really see it from the front but still it's it would be better if it was more adjusted you do get bicep swivel as well i don't think i mentioned that and you get knee on a ratchet you get 90 degrees that's cool that ratchet is strong as well then you got a thigh swivel here and for his feet i have no idea what you get for his feet so unfortunately i can't do his feet and i'm sorry i mean i wanted to do this review i didn't really want to wait that's the reason i did it with no feet because i, I contacted uh, i bought this from show z they usually have good aftercare um i'm not sponsored by them or nothing but when a store takes care of you they usually you know i just like to shout them out and they've been good ever since so i'll keep y'all posted on the feet situation i know it's chinese new year right now or close to it so they're not i think they're pretty much non-existent uh like a lot of companies over there so i contacted aftercare like i said and i'm waiting for them to get back to me so hopefully after their holiday it it will get back to me and everything will be good oh i don't think i did side to side i don't think i did the splits and he has ratchets in the splits i think i forgot that i just did the front the back which is friction so that's different usually it's uh ratchets front to back and friction side to side because of the a stance and everything but this guy don't seem to have that issue even even if you wanted him like this or like this without the ratchet the ratchet don't start until here so but it's fine still because you can get it out here and then set it down and it stays and even without feet i got him standing <laughs> so i mean what you gonna do what you gonna do paint again like i said it's not really a metallic it's more of a sheen but it seems to be painted way better so i wouldn't call this metallic but it definitely is painted well like the yellow there's no miss on the yellow like there's no bleeding it doesn't look like it should have had another coat i know how yellow is some sometimes it's the worst this orange is painted his legs everything is painted yeah so that's it for carry which is i'm not even sure maybe i'll put it on the screen what version this is based off of i think it's some artwork or something that somebody did i'm not even sure if it's a continuity or or what however it's great it's great looking definitely like it if you like the way it looks I would definitely recommend it even though he doesn't have feet i would recommend it because uh, like i said that's not the that's that's <laughs> I, I can't see that happening to other copies i'm waiting here all right so i appreciate it thanks for watching peace